What's up guys, GT here and the reason I'm smiling end to end is because around a month and a half back in the beginning of April to be specific, I put out this video for a JP inspired, Petrucci inspired sort of a clean tone using the Aspects 2 and I thought you guys would really like it and in fact indeed you guys did like it. I think you put in the comments that the tone is sounding really good and you look forward to the preset breakdown but I tried doing something different in that video. I thought why not get this video to around 200 likes as a target and then you know do the preset breakdown. It sounds pretty simple. We are 2000 subscribers strong at this point in time and clicking a like button is not too much to ask for. It's free and it doesn't cost anybody anything. <laughs> but boy oh boy I was wrong. wrong. We are sitting at 80 likes at the moment and out of those 80 likes one of them is mine. I thought it should be pretty pretty simple but turns out it is not. This is how it plays in my mind when I think of a viewer trying to like my video. And don't take any offense this is just a simple little fun thing that I wanted to try out. Meanwhile in some galaxy far far away. Oh, look, a new video from GT. This should be really exciting. This is John Petrucci's clean tone. I would definitely want to watch it. Let's go ahead and watch it. Oh, Count of Tuscany is one of my favorites. It's incredible. That's awesome. That's such a cute tone. And I want this preset. Okay, hold up. You want this preset? Make sure you hit like on the video. Preset breakdown at 200 likes. What? 200 likes? That's nothing. Let's just do it. It's pretty simple. Let's go ahead and like this video. It's going to be pretty easy. Let's just hit the like button. Oh, okay, let's move the mouse. Oh, can't move it. It's really hard. <laughs> looks hilarious doesn't it <laughs> i'm sure it's not that hard i'm sure it's pretty easy to go ahead and click a like button so why don't you go ahead and do it smash that like button stomp it choke it to death do whatever you want to do with it go ahead and like this video and the previous one as well in fact every video that i make if you like the content please go ahead and like the video but if you don't like that content don't click that dislike button stay away from it don't do anything stay put wherever you are <laughs> don't move a muscle regardless in this video i'm going to be showing you how i dialed in that clean tone and we're going to do a preset breakdown you know how do we do things on this channel before i dive into the video and show you the actual preset it's time for the honorable mention of this video and this time i'm going to thank Daring Wall Amplification, that's the name that shows up on my PayPal. So whoever you are, thank you so much for making a contribution towards the channel. It really does help me. And in case you want to get an honorable mention on this channel, in my future videos, check out the links in the description box as to how you can support me in creating free content and free presets for you every day. Not every day. <laughs> I don't make videos every day. I do it whenever I can. So without further ado, hope you guys did not mind that little bit prank that I did in the beginning of this video. Let's jump into Axe Edit and let's dial in the preset. All right, folks, so I've got Axe Edit loaded in front of me. And before we jump into the actual preset dialing process, I want to make two things very, very clear beforehand itself. So first and foremost, this preset will work really well if you have a guitar which has a piezo system built into it. This is a JP series guitar. I think all of JP's guitar, Petrucci's guitar, after pretty much the first JP6 uh, had the piezo, has the piezo system inbuilt into it. So you're pretty much covered if you have one of these fantastic guitars. But even if you don't have one which has a piezo system inbuilt into it, you should be good. The stone should sound still quite good to be honest to be honest I said it again to be honest <laughs> the second thing I want to call out is that this is not exactly how Petrucci dials in his clean tone uh, I took some tips from some of his videos and other you know presets that I've seen lying around but I started this preset as a clear experimentation of trying out different things and trying out different blocks and trying out different ways to dial in a clean tone. So it's more of a Petrucci inspired tone and not exactly how Petrucci would dial in his tone. 
All right, enough of that. Let's dive in and start doing things block by block. So the first block we're going to do is obviously going to be the AMP. As I mentioned, this is going to be a USA clean AMP, which is a Mark IV, the clean channel of the Mark IV AMP. And that is available over here as USA clean. I'm going to keep everything in stock at the moment for the cabs. What I found out that for Meso Boogie sort of amps, the V30 Celestian cabs really work really well. And I have been using them for quite a while for all sort of Petrucci tones. I think Petrucci also uses 4x12 uh, rectifier cabinets, if I'm not wrong. So I'm going to choose a cab here, which is a Celestian V30. Um, I'm going to change this to Stereo Ultra S because I'm going to use a pair. What I'm going to use is these two over here. You've heard me countless number of times using these. These are two of my absolute favorite cabs from the XFX2. So I'm going to choose this one. This is a 4x12 US traditional rectifier with Celestian V30 speakers. It's an ML audio cab, I believe, and it's already been pre-miked with 57 and 121 mics to be honest, uh, to be specific. And I'm gonna use F074, which is another one of the same kind, but it's mic'd differently this time with 906 and 421 mics. I'm not gonna change anything at the moment in the preset. Let's hear how it's sounding. So yeah, I mean, it sounds okay, but it's not something which is really mind blowing or really, really inspiring. But, you know, by the way, I'm playing on my neck pickup and the volume and tone is on full. I haven't engaged the PSO at the moment. So let's go ahead and start tweaking stuff and make it a more pleasing tone. Um, so what we're gonna do first is let's go into the cap since we are on there already. I wanna push the high cut all the way up to 20,000 because I'm not gonna cut off any treble. What I'm gonna do is go into the amp and what I figured out is that for typically, you know, when you see me dialing a Mesa Boogie sort of an amp, I would typically go into the GEQ section and dial in that V curve for most of the distorted tones. But I think for the clean channel, I don't think Petrucci uses the GEQ. And I think he just uses the knobs in the front of the amp to get the tone that he wants. So, so what I did is I brought the bass down quite a lot. And this is ballpark figures for your gear. It might be different, but a general rule is to keep the bass low and to keep the mids low around 2.3. Uh, treble, if you push it too high, it's going to get too ice picky and it's not going to sound good. So you have to find that sweet spot. I think around six sounds really cool, uh, but you know, you can tweak it around as per your style and as per your playing. Um, presence is something which is again going to give you that top end and it's going to give you that bloom and it's going to, you know, really make your preset open up. So I think around eight or something is sounding good for my ears. I kept it around 8.3. And master volume and input drive, again, I did not touch at all because uh, I'm gonna show you another trick that I did because what I was feeling is that if I push the master volume too much, it got a little too honky. And if I push the input drive too much again, I did not like the kind of tone I was hearing. The trick that I like to do at this point in time, whenever I feel that the preset is not up to the full mark and I feel it needs to have a little bit more girth and a little bit of more power behind it, is to use a compressor uh, at the beginning of the signal chain to kind of give it that boost. But before I do that, this is how it is sounding at the moment. So as you can see, it's not that powerful. It's got that kind of tone I want. And you could tweak it on by pushing the level up, but I, I think I like doing the compressor trick more. So let's go ahead and do the compressor here. I always use this in most of my presets nowadays. Uh, compression, compression, I'm gonna bring it down to around 3.5. Attack, I want the compressor to kick in as soon as it can, so one millisecond. Release, I'm gonna bring it down to 15 milliseconds. Quick release, and I don't think I touched any of these knobs. The level is what you can use to push the preset and push the amp a little bit more to get that kind of tone you want. So around seven, I think seven dB was good enough for me to push the amp. Actually, you know what, you can, let's go even 7.5, that's fine. And I think I used even more than that uh, in the actual preset. So with that done, this is how it sounds now. So it sounds much more richer now in my opinion. And this is an AB, this is with the compressor on and I'm gonna play the same thing with the compressor off. So compressor on, it sounds like this. And compressor off, 
it sounds like this. So you can hear the difference as to, you know, the compressor is definitely pushing the amp a little bit more, but it's not coloring the tone. That's the thing I like about the compressor block, uh, using it as a boost uh, in this case. So the next thing I did is I added a chorus. Now, chorus, generally you would typically add it in the series. I added it in parallel. As I said, this is something that I was experimenting with and I found it that it works really well if I added it in parallel. And sometimes, you know, it doesn't really matter if you follow the rules or not. At the end of the day, if the preset sounds good, the choices that you make, I think for me at least, works well regardless of where you place the blocks. So what I did, uh, the rate doesn't really matter. I think I brought it down to around 0.17 or something like that. And uh, mix, I pushed it 100% because this is in parallel now. What that's going to do is send a clean signal through the signal chain without the chorus and also send a signal chain with the chorus. So it's going to create a unique sort of an effect. Uh, what I did also is I went into the high cut and low cut. Uh, wait, wait a minute. I think I chose a different chorus, not digital mono. I chose dimension one. Now this is a uh, chorus which was specifically added on Petrucci's request, I believe, into the XFX2. I think he's now with TC Electronics. He has his own signature chorus pedal with them. So mix, as I said, needs to be 100%. Uh, called it out before. Let's go into tone. Uh, tone high cut, I pushed it all the way up. And dimension mode, I pushed it to high. So with that done, this is how it sounds now. So you can see that the chorus really adds that extra element, that, that really missing element in the signal chain to give it that sort of a smooth, liquidy sort of a feel. And if I turn on the piezo now, uh, I'm going to go into this middle position, which is a mix of the magnetic and the piezo pickup. Uh, I'm going to put the piezo volume at 100%. Let's see how it sounds. That sounds really cool. Let's play something else. That sounds gorgeous. By the way, if you're enjoying the video and you're enjoying the preset so far, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it a lot. Thanks a lot in advance, by the way. All right, next up, what I did was added a multi-compressor block. Again, again, not following the rules, going out of my reach to do something different and doing something experiments out here. What I wanted to do is really push the frequencies above 5K and boost them a little bit because when you have an acoustic guitar, you really have that, you know, chimey and shiny top end. It's really hard to describe in words, but you if you have played an acoustic guitar ever into a mic and recorded yourself, you will understand what I'm trying to talk about. So what I tried to do using the multi-compressor block is push anything above 5K and give it a sort of a boost. And I'm gonna show you how that targets that specific frequency. Since I'm playing with the piezo, I wanted to do that. Completely optional block, you can skip it if you want to, but it does give a nice effect. So what I did is I pushed the third um, channel or third, third layer of the multi-compressor to around 15 dB, which is targeting anything above 5,000 Hertz. Threshold, I brought it down to minus 40. Uh, ratio, I didn't touch. And attack, I think I brought it down to one millisecond. I wanted to quick, quickly you know, kick in. With that done, this is how it sounds. Next thing we're gonna add is uh, two more blocks, which are completely optional. I like to add them to have more space in the preset, which are gonna be a delay and a reverb. I set the tempo of the uh, preset to 100 BPM, so to your taste, whichever tempo you wanna to play to. So what I added is a delay. I set this to digital mono. Uh, tempo I kept it to 1 4th. Uh, feedback 37%, good amount of feedback and mix, I pushed it to 17%. Uh, with the delay done, this is how it sounds now.
So as you can see, it adds that space in the preset and it really makes it sound much better. And I went ahead a step further and I also added a reverb on top. So reverb, I am adding it in parallel in this case because uh, it gives me 100% mix option. So what I'm gonna do is push the mix to 100%. I used a large hall in this case and I changed the quality to high. The other thing I also did is I pushed the level down of the reverb to minus 9.3 because otherwise you're gonna get clipping. The other thing I did as well is I went into the amp section and I pushed the level down to minus 14 because I was getting some clipping. So you know, based on your gear and your settings, you might need to push the amp down. So with that done, this is how it sounds. playing Pull Me Under. Where's my whammy? <laughs> I missed the whammy. Anyhow, so that is the preset, but I added one final block, which was also there in the demo, which is a flanger block. So let me go ahead and add that. Now Petrucci uses a flanger or a phaser, I think sometimes for his tone, I don't recall what he uses, but as I said, I was not following any rules for this preset. I used a flanger, I went ahead and used the digital stereo. Uh, all I did, I think was push the mix to 100%. That's all I did. So let's play that part from uh, Goodnight Kiss, the intro. And without the PSO, this is how it sounds. Sounds really cool and sounds really nice. So that is pretty much the preset. And do you guys want me to put this up on exchange? Another plane. <laughs> Sorry about the noises though. I kept my window open. Otherwise it gets too hot in this room. So do you guys want me to put this preset on the exchange as I was saying? If you do, make sure you go ahead and like this video. 5,000 likes and I'll put this preset up on exchange. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'll put this up on exchange. Just let me know in the comments guys. And regarding comments, you know, I really enjoy reading each of those comments that you put in down there. It's, I try my best to respond to each one of them. I hope you understand that sometimes it gets a little too much, too many comments coming from all the videos and it takes time for me to go ahead and respond to them. But I love reading them. I read each one of them and I try to respond to each one of them. The funny ones, the, you know, the good ones and your feedback really amazes me and it really keeps me going and making these videos. I want to make videos like these a little bit more where we have a little bit of fun element in there as well so make sure you let me know as to how you found the content in the beginning of this video if you did it takes effort to make that but i'm willing to go that effort and go that extra mile to make you guys smile a bit as well and as always i shall see you guys in the next video and in case you haven't subscribed yet i don't know what you're waiting for go ahead and subscribe there's a lot more content coming up and I shall see you guys in the next video. Until then, wherever you are, it's a tough time out there. Stay indoors, guys. Keep safe and keep rocking. Cheers. Bye-bye.